Hey, good evening. This is Wilfredo Aguilar bringing you the word of the day. Today we're going to talk about the science of God. The science of God. Um, we, it's interesting, interesting today in, in our modern times. Um, whenever uh, people, people are trying to get free from God. Um, and one way, one way to, to, they, they do it, it it's, it's by, um, by claiming, Hey, we got to go with the facts. We got to go with the facts. They want to go with science. And by doing that, uh, they think that they're actually liberating themselves from God. Um, but in a, in a essence, they're going to another God. Uh, there's no such thing as God devil and science so if you want to get away from god and away from the devil then you run to science this just doesn't happen i don't care how how many phds you have um how, how much books you read uh how much education you have how, how how high is your iq there's no such thing as um god devil and science um it's either God or devil and uh, you can be tricked into thinking you're getting free from them but uh, you actually go into the devil um, science science in an essence uh, actually started a, in church uh, if you read if you go back in history uh, people that went into the natural to study the natural all those high uh, Think it, thinkers uh, actually came from the church, and um, it's so sort of like breakthrough um, through the church, but um, which was the Catholic Church. Uh, so, in an essence, you're not trying to run away from God; uh, you just go into another spirit. But uh, there is a science of God. Uh, there is a science of God. It says that in order for somebody um, to do, I mean, right now the AI is trying to do in intelligence um intelligent um artificial intelligence they're pretty much just trying to get that breath that soul into the machine um that that breath that the breath of god uh they try to do that and so that the machines become aware um they um they uh they, they 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 try to do it in a sense without God, and, and then they realize that they're just moving to another God, which is not God, but it's not gonna be pretty at the end. So that's that's the whole idea of God. But there's a science of God, and God has been talking about that uh, through the Bible, and uh, and and this is this is the glory of God that he he talks about the the knowledge of God. The, not, the, the glory of God. Uh, Jesus once said, um, this is eternal life. That they may know you. So that, that you know the knowledge of God. The real knowledge of God. Not just a whole bunch of uh, human information and, and try to, um, try to um, escape from God. Uh, which in a sense will lead you to death. So there's God and evil. Uh, you can try to change uh, by trying to escape from one. We are always under someone's control uh, spiritually. We're either under good or we're under evil. And um, those people that try to get away from God, they they don't realize that they're going, they're running towards evil. And and that's the end. It's death, destruction. Uh, whether it comes through addictions. Um, personal stuff that happens uh, craziness mentally and a whole bunch of other stuff um, it is not it doesn't end well even if these individuals have attained great wealth great wealth but uh, there is a science of God and this is the glory of God that he promised to release upon the earth to fill the whole earth with the glory of God uh, Jeremiah 33.3 uh, This verse came to my mind It's like God putting them in my in my mouth Saying call to me and I will answer you And tell you great and incompres incomprehensible things you do not know 
Call out to me and I will answer you and tell you great and incomprehensible things you do not know. Um, there's a, a promise from God that you can call to him. Don't get fooled by the devil. Uh, you can call to him and he will answer and show you great things that you don't know. Um, because ultimately the 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 the, the, the we we're, we're in a in a place where where there's two rivers one river is the river of the lie which is destruction steal uh, uh kill sacrifices um and then there's another river the river of truth which is not about stealing it's not about killing our sacrifice it's not about destruction it's about building, it's about going higher, it's about breaking resistance, um, it's about getting support, and then growing up, it's about building, it's, it's, the, it's the truth of God, and that's the truth of God, and that comes from the science of God, it's about the life of God, um, and, and, and this science of God comes, it's it was manifested it was enveloped in the form of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the form of the Messiah uh, Jesus when he came on earth on more than 2,000 years ago and he wrapped got wrapped himself in the flesh and was born in a baby now and now he was born so that we to eat from him we could it's like um, when you read a book when you read a book um, you consume it you eat it you eat it uh, not physically but you eat it spiritually you absorb it you 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 grasp it and and then sometimes you might just come back come back and come back to it uh, especially if you're not into reading if reading is not your thing uh, Sometimes it's harder to grasp concepts because we're not accustomed to it. We're not. We don't deal with information on a daily basis. Uh, some, sometimes we're more um, good with our hands, uh, mechanically do something mechanically. We have different talents. So sometimes grasping information, revelation of the word, uh, could be a problem. Could be a challenge. But if you dig into books and long enough, you you start getting an easier, an easiness, and then you start enjoying the word, enjoying the books, and then if you can grasp the the body and the blood of Jesus in the Bible, um, be able to see it, be able to experience it, then uh, you you're pretty much in in good in good um, diet, in which is eating. The word of God, eating, drinking His flesh, His blood, eating His flesh, drinking His blood, and 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 this becomes a weight of fighting, a weight of fighting uh, against things that are rising up on the world that that are that are rising up that are enemies beyond our ability to defeat. Uh, these are huge enemies. Especially the enemy of lie, which is the opposite of Christ, which is is the absentees of truth. There's no truth in the devil. There's no truth in 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 the enemy of God. It's only lie. There's nothing he can he cannot tell the truth. He can only stand with the lie. On the other hand, God, there's something God cannot do, and that's lie. He will always tell the truth and the Holy Spirit testifies to it. So this science of God is underway. As soon as we saw Jesus coming to this earth, being raised up, um, started his ministry, that was it. That was the beginning of the science of God spreading through the earth. Through the year and now through his flesh through his blood we fill the the whole world with the glory with the knowledge 
with the science, with the real science of God. Um, because ultimately the science, the other science, uh, that um, individuals that are very awesome with their mind, that they're good with the calculations, that they're good with mathematics, they're good with um, with the, the science branches, they're good with the study. Uh, ultimately, they, they are limited themselves. That's why they, you don't find somebody who specializes in everything. You find somebody only that specializes in something, a niche uh, in different areas, in chemistry, biology, uh, the different areas that they have to master that they have to sort of specialize because they they can do overall they can do all but in the knowledge of god which is way superior than the than the science of god uh it's 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 the word of god the flesh of god that was revealed to us in the person of jesus christ and this is this is the science that paul talks about in first corinthians 1 25 to verse 29 it says, because God's foolishness is not his foolishness in itself, because he, he knows everything. It's his foolishness, us, that we don't know everything. Um, we don't have, uh, some believers do have PhDs, but some don't have PhDs. Uh, some of them probably don't even know how to write or how to, how to, how to um, uh, read. But nevertheless... This foolish people are God's foolishness. Is wiser than the human wisdom. And God's weakness is stronger than the human strength. So God's foolishness is wiser than the human wisdom. God's weakness, not his weakness, but God's weakness in the sense of people like us. Um sometimes we don't we don't go around like like uh people that in, are into fitness uh they, they 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 create a life around fitness but yet through the strength of god we are stronger we are stronger than anybody that could physically lift uh so much weight or his, their body is ridiculous uh strong uh, we are stronger in Jesus and we're wiser than any scientist with a very high IQ. Uh, we are wiser, we are stronger because the Word of God says we are. And this it comes through the flesh and the body and the blood of Jesus. Uh, 26 brothers and sisters, consider your calling. Not any were wise from a human perspective, not so many powerful. Not many noble birds. Instead, God has chosen what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God has chosen what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God has chosen what is insignificant and despised in the world. What is viewed as nothing to bring to nothing what is viewed as something. So that no one may boast in his presence. Oh, that's amazing. Because ultimately, whoever think is strong, whoever think is wise, does not come from him. Is given by God. So we have the source of strength. We have the source of wisdom, of knowledge. And that is Christ. Through his flesh, through his blood, we can expect wisdom and strength. Uh, this is probably why it says Jeremiah 33 call on to me call my name and I will show you great things that you don't know call on to Jesus call on to him uh, and he will reveal himself to you he's an amazing amazing God so don't fall into the, the things about facts they're just trying to get rid of God they're just trying to move away from God and they actually running into another God. Everything is governed by spirits. Either you under the spirit of God or you under the spirit of lie. Uh, this doesn't work three ways. It's only two. Uh, so that's it for today. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.